Creating top 20 lists is never easy, which you already know if you helped me, AJ, and Dave Station make this list on the last week's three-hour episode of PSVR Gamescast Live. But with amazing first-party titles like Everybody's Golf and Blood and Truth right around the corner, we thought it was super important to get this list out there so you don't miss any of the best games. So here it is, the top 20 PlayStation VR games as of May 16th, 2019. Shields up to 100%, Captain. Bridge Crew is a perfect example of how PSVR can take something tailor-made for Star Trek fans and expand its audience by making it fun to just hang out with friends on the bridge of the Enterprise. There are no boring positions, and every enemy encounter requires all four players to be on high alert at all times. It's a Trekkie's dream come true, sure, but it's still fun regardless of whether or not you've ever seen the show. While a ton of PlayStation VR games have attempted to give you a peaceful, meditative place to relax and escape, Catch and Release does it almost instinctually while delivering the best fishing game I've ever played in my life. Chilling on a boat with a couple of move controllers, upgradable equipment, and just a ton of stuff to do and discover makes this an amazing way to waste an afternoon. Tetsuya Mizuguchi is well-renowned for titles such as Luminous and Res Infinite, which place an emphasis on interactive sound design. Now he's reinvented the most popular puzzle game of all time. With a combination of meditative visuals, special effects, and sounds that all come together to bring a wonderful experience in Tetris Effect. It's the same great gameplay that's withstood the test of time, but like you've never seen it before. Ace Combat 7 is one of the most realistic, most intense experiences you can have in VR, especially with the optional HOTUS controller. There's only three VR missions, but luckily there are new planes and difficulties to unlock, giving each mission a ton of replayability. Yes, we want more, but what's here is incredible. Missile. You've died. And now it's time to travel to the land beyond. Zing is a gorgeous, poetic adventure that has you slowly uncovering the stories of several different characters' struggles and triumphs. You'll travel across a variety of breathtaking environments, altering the weather and interacting with objects while piecing together the secrets of their past. Moss is the first, but not the only game on this list that proves VR games don't need to have a first-person perspective to feel immersive. Controlling Quill with the DualShock 4 through a storybook-like narrative isn't just beautifully presented, it's also heartfelt and moving. And with the free Twilight Garden DLC dropping next month, even those of us who beat Moss months ago will have a reason to drop in and revisit this world. Shall we begin? Something to might be of use to you, now that I think about it. We've said it a thousand times by now, but Static is by far our favorite puzzle game on the platform. Using the DualShock 4, every level finds us in a new precarious situation, with no labels or tutorials showing us how to proceed. Yes. It's all about experimentation and trial and error. While Static takes clear visual inspiration from Aperture Labs, the puzzles themselves are like nothing we've ever seen before. To the top gives us a glimpse into what Sonic or Mario might see when they plow through obstacle courses in first person. And, in fact, this game might have more in common with those classic games than you'd expect. Each stage has time challenges to complete, hidden gems to find, and rewards for those looking to explore the far reaches of each level. Need more? Check out the co-op multiplayer for even more unique challenges. Team up with Louis the Cat and assist him with solving problems to help the citizens of his town. Even though it takes place in a charming, diorama-like world, Ghost Giant tells a heartfelt story about depression and the damage it can cause if not treated properly. 
With a story written by acclaimed writer Sarah B. Elgren, this emotional story is shockingly relatable to anyone who has ever suffered from or known someone to suffer from depression. And as the ghost giant, your friendship is the key to solving the problems of both the town and Louis. How do you tell if a tree's in love? It says, never leave me. Futuristic racing games have been done to death, and as good as the Wipeout series has always been, nothing infused the genre with a much needed adrenaline shot quite like the Wipeout Omega Collection PSVR patch. Blazing around the tracks in low gravity at blistering speeds practically feels like roller coaster racing, all the while putting the graphics and intensity of pretty much every other game in the genre to shame. Separated from your crew of interstellar scientists, it's up to you to blast your way through hostile alien territory and find your way back to them, following trails of debris and holographic logs that tell the story along the way. Featuring an action-packed sci-fi campaign, updated co-op levels, challenge and versus modes, Farpoint is still one of the best games to support the aim controller, and has leaderboards and weapon unlocks to keep you coming back well beyond the completion of the main story. There have been so many versions of Skyrim on so many platforms, but until you finally play it in VR, you haven't seen the best, most immersive iteration. And if you've never played it before, consider yourself lucky to have the biggest open world on PlayStation VR to explore from scratch, with a seemingly endless narrative to play through in any way that you choose. Borderlands 2 was already a must-have for those who never got to experience the original, but after adding aim support, it only has gotten better since. You'll play as a vault hunter searching for treasure across the world of Pandora, collecting bazillions of guns, and fighting your way to defeat the likes of Handsome Jack. You'll also collect customizable vehicles, upgrade skills to unlock new abilities, and plow through endless enemies and bosses in this non-stop, action-packed adventure. As the other roguelite game on PlayStation VR, the persistence has you making your way through a starship, which unfortunately is getting sucked into a black hole and overrun with mutated versions of your former crewmates. It's scary as hell, and dying comes fast and often, which, unlike most games, gives you a chance to boost your permanent stats and give it another go. Until Dawn, Rush of Blood still remains one of the scariest, most thrilling experiences to date. If riding a roller coaster wasn't shocking enough for you, then the world of ghosts, creatures, and demons should be enough to get the hair on the back of your neck raised. Fans of arcade shooters will soon find out where the genre has not only gone, but evolved in this horrifying and gruesome rail shooter. Superhot's mantra is simple, time only moves when you do, and in VR that means you'd better not move unless you have a plan. Dodging bullets, throwing items, and shooting bad guys all result in an unintentional slow motion action movie choreographed around your living room, and even when time slows down, you'll still have to think fast. Combining rhythm-based gameplay that has you slicing, dodging, and dancing through and around blocks to several upbeat, electronic music tracks 
Beat Saber is one of those games that has mass appeal and is excellent for both hardcore gamers as well as those new to the platform. With over a million copies sold under its belt, Beat Saber is rapidly growing as one of the most popular VR titles available, and for good reason. Before PlayStation VR, I had zero interest in online multiplayer games, especially tactical team-based ones where I had real people relying on me at every turn. But Firewall changed all of that. Somehow this 4v4 shooter with just one game mode roped me in and had me addicted almost immediately. And with the new Operation Nightfall DLC just days away, one of our favorite PlayStation VR games is about to get even better. Probably. He is under you, coming around. There's lots of proxies under coming there, around so. the front now. Yeah. It's gonna be right. coming, yeah. Fans of platformers can now rejoice, as you'll have five worlds to conquer, each with a variety of stunning graphics and special effects, supreme gameplay that evolves as you pick up several different tools along the way, and 25 challenge levels. Astro may be small in stature, but he is quickly making his presence felt in the virtual world. The battle for first place was fierce, but Resident Evil 7 offers such a sense of place and creates an atmosphere of such extreme terror that even I was surprised to find an amazing game hiding underneath the horror movie facade. And when you're all done, there are countless reasons to go back and play again, and again, and again. If you've only played Resident Evil 7 in non-VR mode, you haven't actually played Resident Evil 7. Can you believe games like Job Simulator and Rec Room didn't make the list? Well, make sure you're part of the voting process next time, and tune into PSVR Gamescast Live every Thursday night to be part of the ongoing PSVR conversation. The list is constantly changing and evolving, and I can't wait to see what it looks like three months from now. Thank you so much for watching. We love you all, 